A special meeting today at the Capitol has lawmakers asking if enough is being done to protect foster children. The meeting led by Austin State Representative Donna Dukes with the Child Protection Committee focused on whether there is enough for training for caseworkers. And KXAN's Lindsey Bramson was there and has this story from the state capitol. If we expect them to come out and graduate college, we need to make sure that they're not being abused in care. Once a foster child himself, Tyrone Obaseki now spends his time advocating for the children he says can't fight for themselves. I was body slammed at the age of six and my teeth fell out. No one really cared. In front of members of the Child Protection Committee, he asked that stronger standards are put in place for caseworkers. Just one month ago, two children, ages six and four, drowned at Lake Georgetown. Paramedics said when they arrived at the lake, the kids' foster parents were nowhere to be seen. The agency who placed those children in their foster home is now under investigation. Ashley Harris is a former caseworker. There were times where I had very high caseloads and I was not able to devote the time that a child needed to them. She says caseworkers being assigned more cases than they can handle is a big problem. With those high caseloads, the caseworkers are just running around checking on kids but really not able to look for red flags and ultimately that in puts a child in danger. Harris fears if nothing is done, more children may die. Lindsey Bramson, KXAN News. This meeting today follows new rules that will go into effect later this year that protect children in foster care. Come September, the Department of Family and Protective Services will interview relatives of a potential foster parent who does not live in the home. The agency also wants to run background checks on anyone considered an emergency caregiver and review all law enforcement calls to the home over the past two years.